Hi everybody, welcome to another hour of English classes here on Verbling.com. In this hour, uh, we're going to be doing a writing class. In fact, I think I've scheduled four writing classes around this similar time uh, this week because so many people have been asking and the other teachers on Verbling have also been um, providing some more writing classes for people who are interested at different times because I know that even if I offer several writing classes um, they may not be at a good time for you so the other teachers have um, also been hearing that request so if you like the writing classes you like having a time to um, set aside in your day and really just practice writing either the questions or the prompts that I give you or your own writing if you want to practice something that you just want to be able to write for yourself um, then the writing class is, is a good thing for you guys. Uh, of course there are all kinds of classes still here on Verbling.com I have a, I don't know, I think a speaking class later today, uh, much later, and reading, you know, speaking, conversation, vocabulary, all those types of things are still available, of course. Um, so welcome everybody, Zaki, hi, uh, Sir, Serata. Hi. Hi, where are you from? I'm from Guinea. Guinea, wow, awesome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, welcome to class. And hi, I saw uh, Nurel. Hi, Nurel. How are you today? Mm -hmm. huh? I'm doing well. It's always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. Nurel, is that a picture of you? Yes. Yes. In, yes? You oh, may. Okay, we don't have to get to you. Uh -huh. You might picture it me differently, but that's the the look I look. <laughs> that's the way I look. <laughs> nice. Uh huh. <laughs> it's a good, good look. <laughs> okay, awesome. Okay, well, uh, welcome, uh, Mirko. How are you, Mirko? Uh, fine, thanks. Uh, hi, Lisa. Mirko, where are you from? I'm from Italy. Hi. Mirko, where are you? Italy, yes. Rossetti is <laughs> Italian. Okay, great. And Sims I'm okay. is here. Welcome. Okay, everybody. Um, Hello. So I'm going to put the, the link up. Hi. Uh, link up into the Google group chat. So to get to the Google group chat, you click on the blue icon in the top left corner of this window, the Google Plus Hangout window. Um, looks like everybody is pretty much there. Um, Aida, you c oh, you're there too? Okay. Um, so everybody can click on that link and when you click on that link it opens up a new window for you um, and that's the document. So where you're going to write is actually on this document. You can write your answer to start um, on a different document if you want. That way uh, you can then just copy and then paste into this document. But it's good to have this document so that when I do the corrections we can be looking at the same piece of writing. So let me explain how I do these writing classes and if you already know then you can get started. Um, so these are the directions. So we have a bunch of different questions. I think I have nine today. You can start with any question that you like, any question that you want. Um, you will not have time probably to answer all of the questions so you can work on one or two or three whatever you can do in this time period. Um, when you find the question you want to write about, uh, you type your name and then you type your answer. So for example, I go here to number one, I put my the cursor there, that's that blinking line, that's the cursor. And then I type my name, my name is Lisa. And then I, um, we, then I will 
start writing my answers. So the first um, question is, or a prompt, a prompt is something to write, write about. Write about a recent movie that you watched. So I might say, uh, this weekend I watched, and then I would say the movie, and then I would talk about the story of the movie. Um, when you're talking about the movie, you can give the idea, you know, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, you could tell the story, whatever you want to do. But the important thing is to put your name so that when it's time for me to help you with the corrections, I will be able to find your answer on this document because this document is many pages. Um, I like you to write in complete sentences, so not just one or two word answers, but you know, try to do a few sentences, maybe a paragraph, two paragraphs, depending on where uh, you are in your level of English and then I'm going to have you read your answer out loud so everybody will be able to listen if they want um, and then I will correct I will make uh, corrections okay it's going to be quiet in here because people will be writing so about the first 10 minutes or so people are just writing and then when you are finished you just say you know teacher or Lisa unmute your microphone and then tell me you're ready and then I will start correcting. So, number one is write about a recent movie that you watched. Number two says, what is your favorite type of cuisine? So cuisine means the food. So there's Mexican cuisine, Italian cuisine, Spanish cuisine, Greek cuisine, American cuisine, Russian cuisine. So all of the different countries have special cuisine. That means the food, the type of food. So for example, in the United States, Chinese cuisine or Chinese food is very popular. Sushi is very popular. Okay, so you can give an example of what kind of cuisine you like. Maybe you say, I like uh, Mexican food. I really like to eat enchiladas or tacos, something like that. Um, it can be cuisine from your own country. That's fine too. Number three is describe something that you have learned or realized in the last month. So maybe you've been working on something new, a new skill, or maybe you realized something. You, you, you had an epiphany. You said, oh, now I understand something about your life, about your job, about learning English, anything. Number four is describe your dream home. So that's, just tell us, what would you like? A big house, small house, where would this house be? What would it look like? Maybe you want a tennis court, maybe you want a pool, maybe you want a big TV. Um, number five, do you like to watch sports on TV? Why or why not? Number six, what is it like to go to a doctor in your country? Do you go to a private office, a clinic, or a hospital? And then you can describe, so you can give one example. Maybe you have all three possibilities, office, clinic, or hospital. So you can just give an example. Number seven is, do you like having pets? If so, which type or which types? You could make it plural. Do you like dogs, cats, guinea pigs, hamsters, birds, snakes, things like that? And then there's this TOEFL essay. Uh, this has been popular in the United States in the past couple of years, um, this uh, controversy. This is a controversy. So marijuana should be legalized for medical use and recreational use. So there are states in the United States that have made it legal, it's okay now, to use the drug uh, marijuana for medical use, like if you have cancer or some other medical issues, or just recreational use. So just people using it to relax or however they use it. Okay. And then there's a free write. So you can see Hamid has already started with the free write. This means you can write anything you want. You can write a story. You can tell me about uh, something you're planning for this weekend. You can tell me about something that happened to you. Whatever you want to write about, it's just up to you. You do not have to write an answer for every question. You can just choose the ones that you want to write about. and um, work like that. So Zaki already is starting also. I'm going to erase my part. What happens is people write, they, it moves your stuff up and down a little bit. That's kind of annoying. So you can give yourself more space by um, pushing enter 
or return on your computer so that you can separate your answer from another person's answer. Just don't erase anybody else's uh, writing. Okay, Mirko, I'm going to push you down a little bit there so that there's more space. Yeah, that's good. Does anybody have any questions right now? Yes, Liz, uh, uh, send me please uh, the link for me, right? Okay, did you see it in the group chat? Yeah. Do you see it there? I you have to go to, not the verbling chat, the group chat, which is on your left. It's the top icon that says chat. Uh, group you know chat? That? Yeah, the group chat. Um, yeah. You see it there? No. You don't see it in the group chat? Um, That's weird. Okay, I'll put it in the verb link chat. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> so like I said I'm going to mute my microphone right now too just so it's really quiet and then when um, anybody's ready just unmute your microphone and just say you know I'm done or I'm ready or whatever
Okay, Hamid, let me see. All right, so Hamid has lost his voice, so I'm going to read. <laughs> All right, I want to mention about my good news for this free writing. Yesterday I went, okay, so I'm going to correct as I go. I want to, I would say talk about, or you could just say mention. So I want to talk about my good news for this free write, and it's just free write. Um, yesterday I went to uh, a work interview for a cosmetic company in Izmir, and everything was positive, and that company accepted me as a chemist trainee for their store. Okay. My first work day will be tomorrow. So I am both excited and nervous, and I would say instead of for, about, about this situation. That company uh, produces especially sun tanning lotions and creams, and I am very keen uh, to find out and produce innovative and useful formulas for humanity. My second news is that, and you can just create a new paragraph, my second news is that I will go to the Cosmetic Congress next week, um, in Antalya, period. I highly give importance for this Congress. Okay, I, I would say I, instead of I highly give importance for this Congress, I would say I um, think this will be an important Congress. I believe that this Congress provides good results such as new academic, okay, I believe that this Congress, uh, let's see, will provide good results, good, um, um, I would say, for people such as new, um, providing, or offering, let's just say, uh, such as offering a new academic environment and new company people. I'm not sure what you're trying to say here. For you? I believe that this con I think you're saying I believe that this Congress will provide uh, good perhaps opportunities for me such as um, allowing me to be in a new academic environment and to meet uh, new people. In, I would say in my company and in the industry. It means this Congress will be very useful for my new working life. Yes. And all in all, I like to join Congresses as well as new beginnings. All in all, I like to join Congresses as well as, I would say, as well as have new beginnings. Finally, I hope everything will be very well for my life. Very good for my life. Okay, Hamid. Good. Any questions, Hamid? You can type them. I'm done too. Good. Okay, was it Ida? Okay. Okay, I think I saw you over here. Let's see. Where okay, where did you the go? First, the first one? The first question. Yeah, the first one. Okay. <laughs> Would you able to see my All writing? Right. Okay, bye, yeah. Hamid. Um I don't see it. Let's see. Um Put that one. There, I see it. Now I see it. Okay. Right. <laughs> I found it. I found it. <laughs> okay, you can read it. I watched a very nice movie with my kids last week called The Call of the Wild. This movie talks about a dog named Buck. He was a cute dog enjoying living with a benevolent family. His life was wonderful until a robber came and still Buck in order to sell him. This team sold him by $200. At this moment, Buck's life changed completely. He was mistreated by the new seller. In addition, the new guy sold him to another man who was responsible for slipping goods from a state to another state. This job required 
strong dogs to drag the heavy burden. Therefore, Buck became one of these dogs. Buck was working very hard. After a while, he became the best one of these dogs. Unfortunately, Buck became wild because he wanted to show off his strength. Okay. Yeah, my uh, strength. strength. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I watched a very nice movie with my kids last week called, uh, and the title we we will um, capitalize. So the the main rule about the titles in oh. Eng in English is we capitalize uh, the main word. So of or is or something like that. We don't, but the main words. So the the call of uh, the call of the wild. I think it is call of the wild. Yeah. This movie talked about a dog named Buck. He was a cute dog enjoying living with a benevolent family. His life was wonderful until a robber came and stole, so the past tense of steal, Buck in order to sell him. This uh, thief, so the, the um, singular is this thief, sold him uh, for 200 hundred dollars. Um, at this moment, Buck's life changed completely. He was mistreated by the new, um, I would say, owner. Um, in addition, the new guy sold him to another man who was responsible for sledding uh, goods. Sledding? Is that right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Goods from a, um, a state to another state. I would say from one state to another state. This job required uh, whoops, required strong dogs to drag the heavy burden. Therefore, Buck became one of these dogs. Buck was working very hard. After a while, he became the best one of these dogs. Unfortunately, Buck became wild because he wanted to show off his strength. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's a popular book also that uh, a lot of kids read in the United States. Yes. I haven't I haven't seen the movie. It's, is it good? It's a cartoon. It's a cartoon? Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it has a cartoon and the other one is the real movie. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. There's another... All the dogs in movies. Yeah, there's another uh, story by the same author who wrote this one called White Fang, and it's like the opposite story where a wild dog goes and becomes domesticated. <laughs> so this oh, one... Oh, cool. Can you write the name of the movie? What is the name Yeah, movie? White Fang. I don't know if it's a movie or just a book. Do you see okay, it down there, I White Fang? Sure. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, uh, yeah it's a movie. They have a movie too. Okay, but I don't. I think the book and the movie are are different. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Story is a little bit different in the book. Yeah, the story has okay. a lot of details. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Donato came in. Hi, Donato. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. You can work on another one. We have a half an hour still, so you have time. Is anybody else ready to okay. read what they wrote? When you're ready, just uh, let me know. Teacher, my homework, the key. Teacher, hello? 
Move. Hold on, my computer's slow. Okay, I'm ready. Zaki, you ready to read? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I watch a movie, a cinema hall with my friends. It's a very great movie for me. The main person of the stream is Education, the story directed by the Agrafa. He was a director as well as a center role played in this movie. In this movie, there are three characters played as a senior student. A, uh, they are played a important role in the movie. It shows that the students should learn education not for the exam. In this movie, it also shows that the teachers should teach the subject with understanding and don't try to muscle the students. This movie was one of the best movies I have never seen in my life. This movie got a full award on that year. Okay. What's the name of this movie? Uh, three Idiots. Hi, three, three Idiots? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, you, you wrote about this one before. Is it It's a, a, a movie from India? Yes, it's a movie from India. Oh, I I never um seen it. Let's see. I'm trying to find it because uh, it oh. sounds like an interesting. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Three idiots. I see it. It. What language is it in? Hindi. Hindi. Okay. Hindi. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Here's the movie. Okay. All right, so three weeks ago I watched a movie at, and so you can say, we usually just say at the movie theater, or at the movies, or at the movie theater. Okay. Yeah, three weeks ago I watched a movie at the movie theater with my friends. It, it's, a very, it's a very great movie for me. Uh, the main concept it's of the film is, um, I would say the main topic the main topic of the film is okay. education. This movie uh, was directed by uh, Amir Khan. He was the director as well um, as, let's see, I would say he was the director and he played the central role in the movie. In this movie there are three characters, plural, um, Playing engineer engineering they, students, they, yeah. Okay. Or are you playing as engineering students? They played an important role in the movie. Um, it shows that the I would say the movie shows that the students should learn. Um, they should learn. Um, we say for for the sake of learning, not just for the exam. Uh, the exam in this movie, um, or I could say instead of in this movie, this movie also shows that the teacher should teach the subject in an understandable way and not try to what do you mean mug up mess up no mug up means uh, by heart uh, to make it too hard by heart means uh, uh, me uh, like mem memorizing this and not understanding anything oh, okay, I see. See, okay I see okay I see uh-huh so that uh, the teacher should teach the subject in an understandable way and not try to just have the students memorize things, okay. but and then but really learn the subject. You have to explain a little bit more. Okay. okay. This movie was one of the best movies I had ever seen in my life. This movie got a film award. Um, in that year, or we would say, uh, in the year it was made. Okay. Yeah, that looks like funny, funny movie. I'm gonna put it on my watch list. So it's about thinking differently. 
Okay. Okay, Nurel. Which number? The TOEFL question? Yeah, the TOEFL okay. question. It was very hard to write because the page get, keep goes up and down. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's one annoying thing about it. <laughs> yeah. So do you want me okay. to read it? All right. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Read it many out loud. people, many people might disagree with legally legalizing marijuana. They think that this issue is going to foster the growth of crimes in cities. Although I understand this idea, I have a different opinion. Opinion. I think marijuana should be legal, legalized because it will bring money to a city, it will help sick people to feel less pain, and it will increase farming jobs. To begin with, legalizing marijuana will help cities. For example, in Washington State, <laughs> supporters. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I read it. I read it today. <laughs> okay, in Washington State. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's true. Supporters of marijuana have tax taxed part will bring the state tens, tens or hundreds of millions of dollars with much of revenue. As you can see, money is going to improve the city, which will be very good. So not only do legal legalizing <laughs> marijuana will bring money to a city, but also it will help sick people people to listen to lessen their pain. For example, my grandpa will be elated to use it to release his chronic arthritis disease. So why not bring some smile to some faces? In addition to releasing <laughs> pain, legalizing marijuana will increase job opportunities. For example, my friend Tina would like to work in a part store as a salesperson or at the farm where they grow pots. So legalizing marijuana will, would help Tina to fulfill her dream and get the job she always dreamed for. To sum up, for these reasons above, I suggest to consider marijuana as a good idea. Thanks. Uh, okay, good. Okay, just a, a few things. Let me read through it again. Many people might disagree with legalizing marijuana. That's fine. They think that the issue is going to foster the growth of crimes in cities. Um, we could, You can say growth of crimes or just growth of crime because crime in gen like crime in general you're kind yes. of talking about yes. yeah um, although I understand this idea I have a different opinion I think marijuana should be legalized because it would bring money to um, we could say to cities or, or to the cities but let's say in general cities um, it would help sick people to feel less pain, and it would increase farming jobs. To begin with, legalizing marijuana would help cities. For example, in Washington State, so uh, capitalized Washington, supporters, whoops, uh, comma there, supporters of marijuana hope that, let's see, that uh, taxing pot will bring the state tens of or hundreds of millions of dollars which um, we could say it would which is a lot of revenue <laughs> as you can see money is going to improve the city which will be very good not only will legalizing marijuana bring money to a city but also, it will help sick people to lessen their pain. For example, my grandpa would be elated to use it to release his, um, to re, re I, I would say to relieve his chronic mm -hmm. arthritis pain, I would say. To relieve, mm -hmm. it relieves the pain, makes it less. So mm -hmm. why not bring some smile 
to some faces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some smiles Smile. to some faces. In addition to releasing pain, legalizing marijuana would increase job opportunities. For example, my friend Tina would like to work in a pot store as a whoops, a salesperson or at the farm where they grow pot. So legalizing marijuana would help Tina fulfill her dream and get the job she, I would say, has always dreamed about. Whoops. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, there we go. To sum up, um, after the comma, you don't need a capital letter. To sum up, for these reasons above, comma, I suggest... And I would say I suggest that we consider legalizing marijuana as a good idea. Okay. Yes. Any questions? Thank you so much. Yeah, it's oh, good. Wow. Just a few corrections and good use of vocabulary and um, you know phrases and and your ideas were very clear. And this is exactly how you probably know you have to write for TOEFL is the introduction, a paragraph that supports, and then a conclusion. Yeah. If, if you were writing for the TOEFL, you might want to be a little bit more, uh, uh, write a little bit more in the conclusion. Yes, yes. But it's yeah. good, yeah. Overall, it's good structure. But, uh, because yeah. I say, uh, my conclusion is incomplete. Uh, because uh, I have when I uh, say I suggest, yeah. I should give them I should give them an idea why the I mean how they how they will change their mind or something. But it's uh, there is a sentence of two sentences missing there in the conclusion, yeah. and I have to add it there. But I was thinking, what I'm going to say? I mean, yeah. if I suggest someone to change his idea, do I say try it? It's going to be a little weak. <laughs> yeah, well, you could say something like, like in conclusion, um, even though um, legalizing oops, marijuana is quite a controversial issue, there do seem to be many possible benefits for the people who use use it and for the cities that uh, legalize it um, as I and then you can say something like you know as I mentioned above there um, are, are at least three good reasons for legalizing uh, pot <laughs> and then you could you know you could summarize them again here um, oh, yes. and then you could say something like therefore yeah therefore Cities, uh, city governments make money. Should not be afraid <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> to, <laughs> to <laughs> try something new in order <laughs> to uh, bring in more revenue and help people, or something like that. You know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They can keep writing more. <laughs> <laughs> you only okay. have 30 minutes <laughs> I know, I know it's hard <laughs> okay, is thank you Lisa else ready? Thank you. you're welcome Nurel. yes, yes. yes. okay yes. Um, who says I'm, yes I'm done I'm stop. <laughs> okay, hold on all right, let's see. Sim, was that you? Yeah. Okay, why don't you read first, and then we'll go to Mirko next, and then I think Serato is next. Uh, okay. Sim, I see what one month ago about the movie? Yeah. Okay, uh, go ahead and read. Yeah. Is that your kid? Okay. Uh, one, month, one month ago, I saw one movie with my husband. That was a nice movie. Movie name was... Home Alone 2. This movie. Wait. This movie concept based on Christmas. Main character played one child. His acting was awesome. In this movie shows child talent. The main topic of the movie shows the child talent. When I saw the movie, I got fan that child. The message of the movie for children and parents. 
children and parents. This movie gave message to children. They always listen to parents as well as this movie give message to parents. They should understand to children. This movie is best in my life. I I will never forget this movie. Okay, good. So one month ago, I saw a movie with my husband. Period. Um, that movie was a nice movie, comma. The movie uh, movie's name was Home Alone Two. This movie, um, I would say, was. Um, or you could say something like uh, took place. That means it happened around. Uh, yeah, this movie took place around Christmas. The main character was played by a child. His acting was awesome. Um, in this movie, uh, I would say uh, the child showed a lot of talent. The main topic of the movie showed uh, this child's talent. Uh, sure. When I saw Charles that Stanton. movie, when I, saw comma, that I movie. became. So you became a I fan became. of that child. A the message of the movie okay was for both children and parents. Um, this movie gave uh, the message Both. to children that they should always listen to yes. their parents. Yes. Okay. And then I would say uh, this movie gave a message to parents as well, um, comma, that they should understand their children, and I would say better. This movie um, is the best <laughs> movie in my life. I will never forget this movie. Okay, good. Does that make sense? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Mirko, you want to read some? Yes, yes, I have finished. Okay. Let's see okay. which number. All right, last week I watched the movie The Butler. Yes, yes I have finished. Yes. Okay. Okay, you can read that one. Okay. Mirko. Uh, last, last week I watched the movie The Butler that told uh, a story of an African-American man that worked uh, for about 40 years like a butler at the White House. It was, I was very touched uh, by the movie because watching it you can understand the major event of the civil rights movement of uh, African American people. I found a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. I will make, yeah, right. Last week I watched the movie The Butler that told a story of an, and then we capitalized African American. Uh, okay. Yeah. Capitalized. Oops, let's see. African American man uh, that worked for about 40 years as, we would say, as a butler as at the White butler. House. Yeah, okay. as a butler at the White House. I was very touched by the movie because um, watching, I would say, by watching it, you can understand the major events of the civil rights movement of African American. People. Okay. And I might say of Thank the African American <laughs> people. Yeah, sure. Did you have another one? You want to? <laughs> your cuisine is Italian. Your favorite. Another my one, favorite huh? type of cuisine is Italian. I think I can't leave it up. <laughs> no, there is no mistakes <laughs> there. But um. <laughs> yeah, I. I don't think many many Americans can live without pizza or pasta either. <laughs> no. It's very popular. It's a good thing. Yes. Okay, Mirka, okay. do you want it? Yeah, it's yummy. Thank you. Yeah, let me read this one. When I was a child, I I put a comma there. I learned to play a guitar, and then I didn't play for a very guitar. long time. So I thought um, to have forgotten how to play. Yeah. So I, I will say, so I thought that 
I, I had forgotten how to play, but last month I found my old guitar in the attic um, of my parents. I tried... Yeah, I had forgotten. I tried to play it, and I realized I wasn't so bad. <laughs> okay, good. All right, uh, Sorato, okay. are you done? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Okay. You want to read the one about finished. the movie? Mm-hmm. Presently, I watched okay, a movie. I'll be with you next. Hello? Yes, go ahead. I'm listening. Recently, I watched I watched a movie, The Hobbit, on my birthday, and in in 3D. I really enjoy it since I have watched all of the one before, and like adventure and special effects. Okay, good. So recently, I watched um, I would say the movie, so recently I watched The Hobbit. Oh. On my birthday, and then I would put a comma in 3D. I really enjoyed it since I capitalized I have watched all of the ones before it, mm -hmm. um, and I like adventure and special effects. Good. Okay. Did you have any other ones? You want to yes. you want to read about your food? Yes. Okay. This is how we say <laughs> Japan Japanese food. Teacher, I have finished. Okay. Okay. Japanese okay, food is on, my stop. favorite. Go ahead, Sarana. Japanese food is my favorite cuisine because I like sushi. I think that is a, a healthy and exotic food. It is healthy. And okay, good. So just capitalize the I. Yeah, I think that it is healthy. Okay. <laughs> and and exotic food. Yeah. Good. Okay. Okay, Mustafa, you ready? Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, go ahead and read that. Okay. Uh, every day we learn new things that improve our knowledge and career. We can learn from media, parents, friends, social media, and the society. Watching TV gives. Watching TV gives us a lot of information in many different sides and when we go with my friend uh, we talk and argue with each other it makes me uh, it makes me uh, my mind uh, open and understand the real life also we have a social media it has a lot of information uh, from all over the world uh, for example, uh, teaching and education and general information. Uh, from the internet, I learn more things, language, idea in teaching uh, and give me a lot, uh, a lot of re resources in teaching English. We cannot uh, deny the benefits of, the, the, of verbling and the teacher, teachers who helped me during this month. I have been learned English. Uh, language and still in teaching English. So, so we should be in uh, touch with the new things uh, from anything that found uh, that found. Nowadays, internet, TV, friends, and anything. Okay. okay. Yes. All right. So every day we learn new things that improve our knowledge, and um, I would say help us in our careers. We can learn from media, parents, friends, social media, and the society, um, I would say in general. Watching TV gives us a lot of information from many different sides, or you can say from di many different points of view. Um, and when we go with our friends, Comma, we talk and argue with each other. It makes, um, I would say this helps me to open my mind and understand the real life. Also, comma, we have a social media 
and then I'd put a semicolon there. It has a lot of information from all over the world. Uh, period. For example, teaching and education and general information, I could say, can be found on the internet. From the internet, I learn um, many, many more things, uh, such as languages, ideas for teaching, and I say I. Um, I get a lot of resources for teaching English. You cannot deny the benefits of verbling and the teachers who help, uh, who have helped me during this month. I have been learning English. I have been learning the English language and um, and skills for teaching English. So she, we should be in touch with the new things from anywhere uh, that can be found nowadays. Uh, I would just say, let's see, we should be in touch with the new things from, I would just say that can be found nowadays via the internet, TV, friends, and anywhere. I would say. Okay? okay. Thanks. Do um, you have any questions? No. Second question is here. Okay. Good. Okay, Donato, you ready? Donato, where are yes. you? Yes. Okay. Let me read it because we're getting short on time. Okay. Okay. The topic, the topic can. The topic concerning legalization of soft drugs is a recurring theme in the public, um, I would say, in the public uh, debate or the public arena, we could say. Actually, nowadays, uh, it's a topical, so it is a topic of interest, especially in the United States where it seems that in some states marijuana has recently been legalized for recreational use as well. I say as well because in many countries marijuana is given, I would say is already given for therapeutic purposes to patients with mental disorders. Uh, yes, that's true. The debate arises since there are so many pros, pros and cons, um, I would say for supporters and opponents to Legalization. Supporters basically assert that legalizing why is that not right? would allow the state to control its business, bringing several benefits. Drugs would be taken out of the black, um, we would say off of the black markets, um, which, whoops, which are managed by uh, criminals. <laughs> and... And then I would say, and therefore it uh, could be, all right, hold on, and therefore income would be taxed. Okay, that's fine. So it'd be twice convenient since crime would uh, go down and an important source of finance would be at a community's um, disposal. means that they can use it. At your, to be at your disposal is that you can use it. Um, oppose opponents, opponents fundamentally claim that that would be immoral and there would be a considerable, maybe alarming increase um, of consumers. In the end, as we can see, there is no truth and it's um, only a question of giving significance to one aspect or the other. Personally, despite the fact that I'm an officer, I'm a supporter of such uh, le legislation because I give importance to that side. At least I believe that it would be worth at least a try okay, for a specific uh, time period in order to estimate the the changes. And I, I would say in, st in order to uh, evaluate the impacts, perhaps, something like that. Good. 
<laughs> yeah, good. Good. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Right. Yeah, it's right. It's whatever you believe it to be. You're welcome. Graciel, you want to read some of yours? Yes. I okay, which I one? Don't. Let's see. All right, which movie did you see? Last weekend, I was... I'll read it. Last weekend, I uh, was at a, a movie theater. And I watched the movie Jack, Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit. And I would just put a period there. This movie right. is so nice. Um, for a long time, I, I hadn't seen Kevin Costner in a movie. It's a good movie? Yeah, it's a very good movie. Gracias. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. My favorite type yes, of cuisine very good movie. is Italian. All right. All right. I would say my favorite types because you put more than one, so that's plural uh, there. Uh, Brazilian food. I love barbecue with vinegar, yep. salad, and white rice. Mm, barbecue like beef or chicken or pork. What do you like barbecue? Beef. Beef. Beef, yeah. Yeah. This month I learned uh, about driving driving <laughs> a car. Period. I am afraid to drive a car and I know I need to learn to drive a car in in order to get a job. There you go. Good. Okay, you guys. I want to live in a big house because I want to have a big family with lots of kids. Okay. <laughs> Does your husband agree with that? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no. La, no, he doesn't. Okay. Teacher. All right. Okay, everybody. Did everybody read? Second question, teacher. Yeah. Second question. Jackie, yes. you had what? Yeah. Ask me. What's the Hello. question? Second. Second favorite dish. Favorite cuisine. My second favorite cuisine? Yeah. Favorite food. <laughs> I, I don't know. I like everything. I like uh, Mexican food. I, yeah, I eat Mexican food. I eat Indian food. I, I eat uh, Chinese food, I Japanese eat. food, Vietnamese. Uh, everything. <laughs> I, return second I eat pretty much return. anything that... Yeah, hi Kaka, we're just finishing up. You guys, yeah, but Yuzaki, but it's time to go. <laughs> so, what's the question? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Second question, my favorite. <laughs> okay, no problem. Oh, you want to go to your question? Yes, I return the second one. Oh, your food is, oh, okay. I see. My favorite dish is biryani. This biryani is more spice. That's what I, why I love it. All right, I would say... Birani is very spicy. That's why I love it. This birani is made of some rice. I would just say birani is made of some rice with chicken. In every special occasion or where's a uh, wedding ceremony, we we make this uh, birani. Biryani. This is the most popular food in India. The cost of birani is cheap. Everyone comes to India as a tourist. Uh, everyone who comes to India as a tourist, and I would say should uh, definitely taste the biryani and uh, say it is very delicious. It will be prepared with it will be prepared in one hour. My mom makes this. Um, we would say uh, my mom makes a. My mom makes a very delicious biryani. In India, most of the people know the procedure.
year for making biryani and how to cook it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. Thanks for coming to class. And um, I'll see you another time. I have a lot of writing classes this week, so if you like doing the writing, then check out my schedule and come again. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank see you guys you. later. Bye. Thank you. See you. You're Bye -bye. welcome. Take care. Bye. Bye, Bye Lisa. So you can work on one or two or three, whatever you can do in this time period. Um, when you find the question you want to write about, uh, you type your name and then you type your answer. So for example, I go here to number one, I put my the cursor there, that's that blinking line, that's the cursor. And then I type my name, my name is Lisa, and then I... Um, we then I will start writing my answer. So the first um, question is, or a prompt, a prompt is something to write, write about. Write about a recent movie that you watched. So I might say uh, this weekend I watched, and then I would say the movie, and then I would talk about the story of the movie. Um, when you're talking about the movie, you can give the idea, you know, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. You could tell the story whatever you want to do. But the important thing is to put your name so that when it's time for me to help you with the corrections, I will be able to find your answer on this document because this document is many pages. Um, I like you to write in complete sentences, so not just one or two word answers, but you know, try to do a few sentences, maybe a paragraph, two paragraphs, depending on where uh, you are in your level of English and then I'm going to have hi everybody welcome to another hour of English classes here on verbling.com in this hour uh, we're going to be doing a writing class in fact I think I've scheduled four writing classes around this similar time uh, this week because so many people have been asking and the other teachers on verbling have also been um, providing some more writing classes for people who are interested at different times because I know that even if I offer several writing classes um, they may not be at a good time for you so the other teachers have um, also been hearing that request so if you like the writing classes you like having a time to um, set aside in your day and really just practice writing either the questions or the prompts that I give you or your own writing if you want to practice something that you just want to be able to write for yourself um, then the writing classes is, is a good thing for you guys uh, of course there are all kinds of classes still here on verbling.com I have a I don't know I think a speaking class later today uh, much later and reading you know speaking conversation vocabulary all those types of things are still available of course um, so welcome everybody the Google group chat so to get to the Google group chat you click on the blue icon in the top left corner of this window the Google Plus hangout window. Um, looks like everybody is pretty much there. Um, either you c oh, you're there too? Okay. Um, so everybody can click on that link and when you click on that link it opens up a new window for you um, and that's the document. So where you're going to write is actually on this document. You can write your answer to start um, on a different document if you want that way uh, you can then just copy and then paste into this document but it's good to have this document so that when I do the corrections we can be looking at the same piece of writing so let me explain how I do these writing classes and if you already know then you can get started um, so 
these are the directions. So we have a bunch of different questions. I think I have nine today. You can start with any question that you like, any question that you want. Um, you will not have time probably to answer all of the questions. Aki, hi, uh, Sir Serata. Hi. Hi. Where are you from? I'm from Guinea. Guinea. Wow. Awesome. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, welcome to class. And hi, I saw uh, Nurel. Hi, Nurel. How are you today? Mm -hmm. huh? I'm doing well. It's always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. Narelle, is that a picture of you? Yes. Yes. In, yes? You oh, may okay. picture we don't often to me. Get to you. Uh -huh. you might picture to me differently, but that's the, the look I look. <laughs> That's the way I look. <laughs> nice. Uh huh. <laughs> it's a good, good look. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, well, uh, welcome, uh, Mirko. How are you, Mirko? Uh, fine, thanks. Uh, hi, Lisa. Mirko, where are you from? I'm from Italy. Hi, Mirko. Where are you? Italy. Yes, Rossetti is <laughs> Italian. Okay, great. And Sims. Okay. It's here, welcome. Okay, everybody. Um, Hello. So I'm going to put the the link up. Hi. Uh, link up into have you read your answer out loud, so everybody will be able to listen if they want, um, and then I will correct. I will make uh, corrections. Okay. It's going to be quiet in here because people will be writing. So about the first ten minutes or so, people are just writing and then when you are finished you just say you know teacher or Lisa unmute your microphone and then tell me you're ready and then I will start correcting so number one is write about a recent movie that you watch number two says what is your favorite type of cuisine so cuisine means the food so there's Mexican cuisine Italian cuisine Spanish cuisine Greek cuisine American cuisine Russian cuisine so all of the different countries have special cuisine. That means the food, the type of food. So, for example, in the United States, Chinese cuisine or Chinese food is very popular. Sushi is very popular. Okay, so you can give an example of what kind of cuisine you like. Maybe you say, I like uh, Mexican food. I really like to eat enchiladas or tacos, something like that. Um, it can be cuisine from your own country. That's fine, too. Number three is describe something that you have learned or realized in the last month. So maybe you've been working on something new, a new skill, or maybe you realized something. You, you 